Hey, it's Arlen Schweiger, Executive Editor of CE Pro. We're here with Lars Bruneau, VP of Product Development for URC. Thanks for joining us today, Lars. Thanks, Arlen. Great to be here. So we wanted to talk about the new TRC1480 remote that is a pretty exciting product that URC has come out with. Um, maybe we could just start off and you can show us through some of the features and what kind of differentiates this remote from some of the past products that URC has done. Sure. Well, we're really excited about the TRC1480 as it's part of our total control family. Uh, we've been making remote controls for the last 30 years. We've been designing them and manufacturing them. And in fact, in the last 10 years, we've sold over 100 million remote controls. Uh, so we think we know what we're doing. Um, what's different about this remote control from the other ones is that we've taken the best of both worlds of a touch screen and also our hard button remote controls. So what we have here is a 2.4 inch touch screen uh, along with hard buttons. So one of the issues we've always had or heard about with touch screens is that you have to do the touch and nod, which is basically touching the touch screen and then looking up and seeing what you did and then going back down and seeing that you hit the right button. The great thing about this is that I can actually just start off one of my sources and then I have my hard buttons and via tactile feel, I can easily sit there and go from, you know, up and down the remote control because the ergonomic design has little finger grooves in here. So I can actually go up and down the remote, do the touch screen with my thumb or just move down very easily and do that. So one handed and that's it. And also I don't have to look at it and do the volume up and down. And most importantly, uh, we have voice control built into it, uh, which is a Alexa certified. Uh, the other thing too, is that we have a long life rechargeable battery. Uh, it does come with, of course, the rechargeable base station. Um, and other nice little teachers about it besides ergonomics is that just say for existence, existence, <laughs> for example, sorry. Uh, let's just say that the remote dies, uh, you know, that essentially my daughter's left it on the sofa. She never does that. And uh, I pick it up and the battery's dead. So typically what you'd have to do is with any other remote, you put it in the charger base, you'd have to carry it around and try and operate it. The nice thing about it is that uh, you can actually plug it in. This is on all of our remote controls too. You can actually plug in right to the bottom and then use a remote as you normally would with a regular USB type C plug. So a uh, lot of different things. Uh, the other thing too is that you can also do some, because of total control, we can also do some customized and uh, personalized graphics. So I can actually go to my room and I don't know if you can see that there, but you can see the pictures of my different rooms in there. Um, I can do background, vacation pictures, that type of thing in the back. So a lot of different things from our normal lineup of remote controls. I understand with the voice control, there is a um, push to talk function in terms of uh, activating that as opposed to uh, a common wake word. Uh, what was the purpose behind that? A couple of things, actually. One is uh, the concern or the, that people have about their privacy and what some believe is an open microphone and throughout their, ha their homes and you know businesses or whatnot. So in order to uh, activate it, you have to push and talk. The other benefit to it, it's, it's a close mic. So rather than, I mean, it's great to have microphones, you know, throughout your home, but there are times if I'm sitting on my sofa over here, our microphone is back in, in our kitchen. So I have to turn on the sofa, yell, you know, hey, turn down the volume or mute or, you know, if the phone rings, I can actually just press the button and I don't even have to really hold it up a you know, towards my mouth, it's pretty easy. I can just hit the button and just say, you know, turn down music or whatever I command to put in there. So, um, yeah, it's really the, the biggest thing though is a privacy. So there is still a pretty good range with the, in terms of the microphone and picking up uh, whatever commands the user is gonna have. Oh, sure. I mean, you know, really easily. In fact, I can just do this. What's the temperature in the family room? Temperature is 70 degrees. So it's not like I'm, yeah, you know, what's the temperature in the family room? Over, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yes, it's great. And actually, throughout the testing, which has been really funny during alpha and beta, beta testing of the remote, we made sure that we were testing it so it was sitting bedside or, you know, you're sitting on the sofa because usually 
it's right next to you on the sofa. And you, so just be able to find the button, tactile, not even having to look at the remote, press a button, you can then utter the command. If you're able to give us a, a demo of some of the special scenes that you have uh, programmed into your own remote, uh, that would be great. Or any other features that you can share with integrators that might be some common ones that you know they'll be programming into their customers' systems? Oh, sure, absolutely. I mean, one of the great things is that besides being that we're using Alexa to control things, we're also using the power of total control. So the two combined, I mean, I can do all the neat little nifty things I can do with Alexa. I mean, you know, How's traffic? Right now, traffic on your commute looks good. For the once, takes that never happens. <laughs> but anyway, um, I can control the temperature, as you just heard, you know, on the thermostat. But then, and you can do things like where, you know, uh, control light, you know, lights from plug and dimmers that you can buy online and stuff. But now I can actually do things where, say, for instance, I say Christmas time. Now what's going to happen is, Lights come on, some joyous Christmas music plays, and then the shades come down, the fireplace turned on, and I get to listen to my Christmas tunes. Yeah. Okay, maybe not that joyous, uh, the Grinch song. Stop music. Gives you an idea though. So the, the thing we want to do though, and the whole purpose of all of this, besides automating our homes with total control, where you know I have geofencing where I'll turn the lights on and my heat or air conditioning when I'm approaching the house, but is to make things as simple as possible. So I just did all those commands by just uttering two words. Um, and that's what we want, you know, everything from being able to turn on the TV, drop the screen for my projector, all those things by just one button press or a single command. And that's all pretty easy for uh, CE pros to program? Yep, it absolutely needs a CE pro, uh, you know, certified programmer for total control. And we have a great training. We do a three day training that makes sure that we certify all of our dealers and programmers. Uh, but yes, there's uh, very easy for a programmer to use our accelerator program and to quickly not only do all this programming and do all of this, but also at the same time, personalize it for the customer.